Is there an explanation for why approximately 20% of Americans think the U.S.'s response to COVID-19 has been better than South Korea's? In this article, it's claimed that 20% of the U.S. thinks the U.S. is handling the COVID-19 outbreak better than South Korea, 21% think it's about the same, 26% think it's worse, and 32% aren't sure. This is something I find surprising, since for the metrics I've been looking at, South Korea is doing better in every way. Table comparing S Korea to US COVID-19 stats. It seems obvious that the 41% of people who think the US is doing as well as or better than South Korea are looking at different metrics than me, and I'd like to know what these other metrics are. NB, I'm focusing on South Korea because although the original article also says the majority of Americans polled thinks the U.S. outperforms China, Italy, there is a metric that I'm already aware of, total deaths, and in the case of Italy, total cases, deaths per capita, for which the U.S. is doing better than those countries at the time of the poll, so if total deaths is what matters for most Americans then it's defensible to say the U.S. is doing better. I'm not aware of any such metric for South Korea, however, which is why I'm asking. Alternatively, what else can explain the U.S. poll data? The key assumption you have made is assuming people in the U.S. act sensibly, and that they would base their answer in the poll on facts. This assumption might not be accurate. A recent January 2019 study shows that facts might not be too important in this matter. 1. Inaccurate views of scientific consensus and the willful rejection of scientific consensus. In a 2014 U.S. survey, 15, two-thirds of respondents 67% thought that scientists did not have a clear understanding about the health effects of GM crops, despite broad scientific consensus on the topic 16. Similarly, half of Americans 52% thought scientists were divided in the belief that the universe was created in the Big Bang, and about a third each thought that scientists were divided on anthropogenic climate change 37% and evolution 29%. Of course, these data do not make clear the cause of these inaccurate views, which, arguably, could stem from people being uninformed, intentionally misinformed, or a bit of both. Furthermore, split-ballot survey experiments have shown that even when Americans do seem to possess accurate knowledge of scientific consensus however large or small that number may be for a given issue, there is no guarantee that they will integrate that knowledge into their attitudes or policy preferences 17. In other words, these respondents know what the scientific community has established as fact, but they nonetheless refuse to know it. Some have therefore argued that rejection of scientifically accurate accounts of the Big Bang or evolution by non-expert audiences indicates neither a lack of information about scientific consensus nor the presence of misinformation, but, rather, motivated information processing 18. Highlight mine. Given that the current U.S. government places little value on facts and that Make America Great Again was a slogan in the last election, I find it highly plausible that this is a factor here, too, that a certain amount of people simply want to believe that the U.S. is the best in the world in everything, despite facts showing otherwise. The study also finds, when such directional goals influence reasoning processes, individuals are prone to biased assimilation, which is characterized by confirmation and disconfirmation bias, or the parallel tendencies to privilege information that is consistent with one's predispositions and to discredit information that seems contradictory. 51. As with selective exposure, motivated reasoning can contribute to an individual becoming misinformed, and it can occur not only in political contexts but also when individuals process information about science and emerging technologies 52 If you want to believe the U.S. is number one in everything, this seems to be a highly relevant point. Also, emotional state can be an important factor. And I think we can agree that the current crisis is a very emotional matter, and that believing the U.S. is doing better than anyone else might be reassuring, even if it isn't based on truth. The role of emotion. This brings us to discussions of the influence of affect in motivated reasoning processes. There is some evidence that a person's emotional state can shape the accuracy of his or her beliefs. Opening square bracket dot 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 closing square bracket. Notably, individuals' attraction to emotionally charged content is not limited to politics, and even when it comes to scientific discoveries, individuals are more inclined to spread information that has a greater emotional impact. 59. 1. Scheufel, D. Treme, and Nicole M. Krause. Science audiences, misinformation, and fake news. 
Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America Vol. 116, 16 2019, 7662-7669 doi.10.1073, pnas.1805871115. So I think the answer is not that there are any objective metrics that show that the U.S. is handling the crisis better in any way. The fatality rate is magnitudes higher although it is too early to tell what the toll will be in the end, cases per capita are higher, total cases are higher, etc. I don't think there are those metrics that you are looking for. I rather think think it simply shows that a large percentage of the U.S. population is either uninformed or misinformed, for various reasons as outlined above. From the survey that was linked in the question, we can also see that the opinion on how the U.S. is handling it relative to the rest of the world varies dramatically with the political orientation of the respondent, which would further back up that political orientation plays a significant role in how people perceive facts and responded. U.S. handling the outbreak, by party affiliation. The poll data for the question relative to South Korea is roughly in the same boat, polarization-wise. Only about 6% of Republicans say the U.S. is doing worse than South Korea, whereas 45% of Democrats say that U.S. handling the outbreak compared to SK, by party affiliation. 